let's change topics, okay, to advanced breast cancer, which we've kind of not talked about yet, and this is advanced breast cancer uh, video. So really, we've talked about hormone receptor positive breast cancer in the uh, early stage setting. It's really now, where are we uh, in 2017 with the treatment of hormone receptor positive metastatic disease? And I'll start with Atidya. Um, Atidya, I think that, you know, the, the first question people ask, I mean, there are two big ones. The first one is, where do you, given Falcon and given FIRST, the data that just come out, and you could talk about what those trials were, you know, what do we do? Do we use fulvestrin before an aromatase inhibitor now? What do we do? Yeah, life was simple before ESMO of this year. Um, right. For someone with metastatic ER positive breast cancer, the recommended first line therapy was letrozole plus palbocyclib based on the uh, Paloma trial. But now with the Falcon data that was presented at ESMO, uh, which essentially was a randomized clinical trial looking at uh, patients with advanced ER positive breast cancer, they were randomized to receive fulvestrant versus an aromatase inhibitor as their first line therapy. And uh, it was in a study population where patients had not received any prior AI. So these were patients who had uh, de novo metastatic disease, and they were randomized to receive fulvestrant versus an aromatase inhibitor. And the study showed that um, the fulvestrant arm had an improvement in disease-free survival or progression-free survival as compared to the aromatase inhibitor group. And if you look at subset analysis, the bone mets group um, had a marked improvement in, uh, with the use of fulvestrant as, as opposed to uh, the aromatase inhibitor. So I think in general, in, uh, we, the, we would still use letrozole plus palbo as the first line therapy for ER positive metastatic breast cancer, particularly in patients who've already received uh, prior endocrine therapy because Falcon did not study that, uh, that population. But if you have someone who's in their 70s, um, has minimal bone mats, um, say two or three lesions that are seen on scans, um, you do have data from Falcon that you could consider using fulvestrant first um, and then down the road consider a CDK4-6 inhibitor. 